Hello and uh, greetings from Iceland. It's uh, time to be on a lookout again since the next eruption might be just a few hours away, according to scientists, and uh, new cracks are already forming in a road into the town Grindavík. So let's uh, start the journey where the land uplift is by the Blue Lagoon, since we just learned that the eruption on the 18th of this month included another magma intrusion into the southwest part of the dike from November 10th. So in a way, those were two separate events, although this magma intrusion to the southwest wasn't big this time. But it did come closer to town than the eruptive part of the fissure that opened up, meaning that the, the town was uh, most likely luckier than we previously believed during this short-lived uh, eruption. So we might be looking at some bad news on this picture from the road administration published yesterday or those cracks on the main road to Grindavík in the mountain pass between the Blue Lagoon and the town. According to geologists, there are several possible scenarios, although the most likely one has to be an eruption at the same location. But this information we just got about the magma intrusion into the dike and the cracks in the road they might indicate that the next eruption might uh, extend uh, further southwest, closer to Grindavík. But like we know, it's impossible to say, although historically, it has never erupted within the town. So again, it's the perfect uncertainty that we face. The fissure could also extend to the north, or the magma could just simmer down there for a while longer. The land uplift recently has been around one centimeter a day, and... Uh, it has already reached the critical point where the magma chamber won't hold no more, so this vicious cycle is most likely continuing, or uh, while the inflow of magma into the magma chamber does not stop. But uh, this is, however, a rifting event as well, and we can see fairly widespread earthquakes on the entire Reykjanes Peninsula, indicating tension changes, according to scientists. And I sometimes wonder if those earthquakes all around are telling us something about the next uh, chapter of seismic or volcanic unrest, because the other systems will take off as well. And we also got this new offshore earthquake swarm near the island Elde. And those of you who have been with me for some time now, you might remember me saying that uh, when this area starts to shake, we might get some action on the peninsula as well. It's not always the case, but quite often though, or enough for me to notice. And uh, furthermore, a few strong earthquakes have been detected on the Reykjanes uh, Ritz, and uh, there was another earthquake swarm there just weeks ago, so it's action on the plate boundaries for sure. And uh, as for the Reykjanes Ritz, I was just uh, seeing this interview with uh, Mr. Paul Einarsson, saying that we might have to look into this connection between the volcanic system by Elde Island and the ongoing chain of events on the peninsula, or if there is a connection. And uh, I've been talking about that connection since I made a thermal drone video last year covering the Eldwerp craters. Some of our experts were actually expecting the eruption to come up there, and they still think it's a possibility. But I found an article while I was making this Eldwerp video last year, not a science paper, but supported with good amount of research data by a scientist that he was using in an article for the Volcano Cafe website. And the simple version is that the Eldwerp lava might originate from this offshore magma chamber, but I'm not going deep into that now and leaving some links for you, because it seems as Icelandic scientists are picking this up. And uh, let's talk about the coming days now, and the eruption that we are waiting for. But it seems as my Christmas break is over, I did however work a lot over the holidays, mainly some of the work I wanted to finish months ago, or to sort out my photo and video collection, which seems to be endless work, and uh, that work will continue until the red stuff starts coming up from the ground again, messing up my schedule, and you can of course expect that I will be nearby after the next eruption starts. So I'm... Uh, Charging all batteries now, making sure that everything is ready, but I'm not going to hit the road until something happens. And scientists say that this is going to be any time now, could be tonight, could be in a few days. And in fact, it's never been so hard to guess. The last eruption came after only a short earthquake swarm, like two hours, and I would not be surprised if it's going to be like that again, perhaps even shorter time after less earthquakes. So I'm ready to uh, throw my stuff into the car and uh, take off. 
and I'm not the only one on standby. All of webcams are up and running, and I'm refreshing the links so you can find them all at one place. And I'm finishing this today with the general situation in Grindavík, where somewhere around 50 families spent their Christmas. And that was uh, while the rescue workers got some vacation, there has been a lot of pressure on them, so the local rescue team is not selling fireworks this year. And they are asking their customers to buy the annual dose of fireworks from the other rescue teams on the Reykjanas Peninsula. And I'm mentioning this now because uh, it's fireworks that are financing their operation. So they can buy uh, tools like uh, jeeps or whatever to uh, rescue people. And it is my plan to capture some of the uh, fireworks from a drone this time. So that might be the first video in 2024. But as for the New Year festivities in Grindavík, they might not even need uh, fireworks this year. But let's uh, hope they do if they stay in town. And there are a few families planning to stay there over the weekend. The local police commissioner seems to support that, but the civil defense not. So again, there are some misleading information out there. But uh, I do, however, have one solid fact now to share. News from today. It has been decided to make lava barriers around the town, and that work is starting uh, immediately. There will for sure be voices asking, is it worth it? And it's a good question. And when we look at the economics alone, the answer is, yes, it's worth it. The property value in Grindavík, the insurance value, is around uh, 1 billion euros, and around 10% of the total fish catch of Iceland goes through the port of Grindavík. And then we have other facts, like during this worst housing crisis that we have ever seen in Iceland, even before this uh, evacuation, the town will again be the safe home of nearly 4,000 people, in just a few weeks. So this is actually a story that deserves its own video when uh, things cool down a bit. And uh, I'm ready for the next chapter, when the next eruption starts. When it will be announced, I will do a short video covering the basics, risk assessment and such, and uh, take off to the south coast, which is like uh, five, six hours drive in the conditions we have now. And since this is very likely the last report of the year, and I have only one short video to upload after this one. I want to thank my viewers, subscribers and the channel support from the bottom of my heart. It would have been impossible to do this full time for months without your help. And the last weeks have been an emotional roller coaster while I have been covering the history of a town that is very dear to me. But I had the feeling that things look a bit better now, although we have this underlying risk but it has mostly to do with those barriers. And in the beginning of January, as usual, I will make a New Year forecast for 2024, speculate about the volcanoes that we might uh, see blast off, and uh, share some of my plans for the channel. Many of them are very ambitious. So many thanks to you all for watching and commenting, and the basic plan is to... Uh, Keep on improving my content and let the channel grow from that. And with that, I'm sending you Happy New Year greetings from the Volcano Island, Iceland.